Hey guys, um, just another update. Um, it's 8.37, or 8.35, sorry. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and make a little update. So, um, progress with the Brinson Stratton. I've, I was unable to find um, a starter motor on Craig's, but maybe one will pop up. Um, if you guys can tell, that little spot is clean of paint residue and um, I used that Zep heavy duty degreaser and that stuff worked wonders I um, mean yeah, it says not to use on carpet but I didn't discolor it or anything so that degreaser stuff is the bottom so um, I, I went to Home Depot yesterday and I forgot to get a um, a ring thing for the rings again and when I got home I was like damn it all oh, pissed because I had forgotten um, Sears came yesterday, and they said that they ordered me a new uh, transaxle from my tractor, so that'll be here in about a week. Um, all they did is he just like looked at, he's like, "Yeah, I'm ordering you one." It's like, "All right, sweet." Um, these Dewalts need to be charged. Well, this one doesn't need to, but this one does. Um, oh, and our fence is finally done. Well, it's not done. I have to put the hardware on there, but it's hanging. And uh, let me get a video of it for you guys. Or show you guys without me showing you my phone number oh and then I got my echo back um, if you guys noticed or know that I uh, traded in the echo my old echo for uh, that husky compressor and that thing totally blew up because it wouldn't hold pressure um, past 140 psi so yeah so um, I'm gonna break this in today and sorry for my foggy lens it's a little warm this morning I'm going to break it in, and uh, what I think I'll just do for break-in is run it full throttle for one tank of gas. That should be enough. So here's our gate, you know, looking pretty strong, pretty heavy. Here's our redneck door. Um, I had to secure it in here with screws, like three and a half inch screws, because what originally I was going to do was use um, hex bolts, but I bought some more hex bolts yesterday, and in the trailer because I ride my tractor to Home Depot and I'll get you guys a video of me riding to Home Depot one day so you guys can see I'm probably will be going back today because I gotta get I gotta get the uh, ring or the uh, clamp because I really want to get that bridge and Stratton back together um, but yeah um, if anybody has a starter motor they can sell me um, yeah, hit me up and I'll probably. Oh, and I did that spot with the degreaser. That was oil based paint. So, I think if I treat it again with like a wire brush, because all I was cleaning was, was paper towels, then it would come off better. But yeah, I really want to start getting this thing. I want to get these last parts cleaned up and then start reassembling it. Uh, trash trucks here. Because I want to get this thing done. And then I have to clean up in here, so my mom will stop bitching. But yeah, so, um, fence is up, I have to put the handle on, so I'll probably do that later on a day. And I'll probably charge these DeWalt batteries. Uh, there we go. The, uh, kind of that lithium ion batteries, that when you put under load, they don't last the greatest. Oh, I left the light on in there. Oh well. But um, yeah, guys. So um, that's pretty much it. Is what I've got going on. Um, getting on YouTube. That's not plugged in. Of course not. So we'll plug you in. Look at this busy power strip. How busy this thing is. There we go. Alright, and um, just for anybody who's curious how I get my videos up to YouTube, um, I'm not sure if um, it degrades quality or not, but what I do is I put it into Movie Maker and upload it with Windows Live Movie Maker 
and uh, that's just how I get it done. Um, oh, and I want to do an update on my hack version of Windows 7. There's been this thing that says, um, you know, that I'm not running genuine Microsoft software, and how it says without interruption needs to be running genuine software, blah blah blah, you have access to Windows updates, and this has been going on for like two, three months, and uh, and if we come down here, you guys can see, new updates are available, and they'll install, but I'm not going to install those updates because it helps to recognize genuine software, and when I read that, I was like, uh oh, nope, cancel, so, um, we're getting new furniture, which is going to be great, um, because my dad just paid a $2,000 child support, and then uh, when we're done getting new furniture, we'll be getting possibly a 52-inch flat screen, and be hanging that on the wall. Um, I need some recommendations for you from you guys. Uh, what what brands do you recommend for TVs? I was looking at Samsung, LG, Sony, Vizio, brands like that. I mean, what we we have now is a Vizio, and it's a great TV. I mean, this only cost. I mean, this thing was probably bought back in I don't know a while back, but um, it was six hundred, and now you can get yourself an off-brand Insignia TV, fifty inch for. Uh, six hundred dollars. So, flat screens has really come down in price. Um, my mom. I mean, we want to get a Panasonic because our radio over there is Panasonic. Where's the logo on you? Uh, uh, is that it? no? I don't know where the logo is on the actual unit, but that that is a Panasonic unit. And um, and then we want to get a. I guess if we get a Samsung TV, we'll get a Samsung Blu-ray player. And if we get an LG, we'll get an LG Blu-ray player. If we get a Panasonic, we'll get a Blue Panasonic Blu-ray player. But we're gonna get Blu-ray because what Blu-ray does is upconvert your regular DVDs. I mean, we don't have too much of a collection because, yeah, it upconverts your DVDs to near HD quality. So, yeah, and then if you do get a Blu-ray player, you can stick a or stick a Blu-ray in there if you want to watch it. And you can watch your Netflix videos on some of them that are connectable to the internet. And we have to make sure we get one that's Wi-Fi. And then we have to upgrade our router. And hold on, let me show you guys. I just want to show you guys real quick what we have been wanting to upgrade it to in the past while. It's a uh, Linksys. And I don't want to look in TVs. I want to look in all departments. Sorry for rambling on. I'm just. We have the uh, wireless G broadband router right now. But what we want to get is this one right here. It's a uh, Cisco Linksys wireless N broadband router with storage link. So basically what you can do since we have an external hard drive is you just plug in your external hard drive to it. There's a USB port on the back of it and it shares it with your whole home network. Um, it's wireless N so it means it's super fast. Um, delivering up a hundred to a hundred megabytes per second um, instead of the 54 megabytes per second that wireless G delivers. Um, this router right here is a few probably it's almost 10 years old. We got it for free from a friend and yeah, it works. It's the uh, WRT54G, um, and it also has a four-port switch on the back, as you guys can see. And yeah, not too much going on with that. Um, we're still running that old Dell computer since our other one fried. Um, this one hasn't been in use for a long time. Um, but yeah. And since it's been so dry outside lately, since I do a lawn business, um, it's been so dry outside, so everybody's lawn's dying, so that's not helping me out um, very much. But yeah, so this was just a little update video. Um, getting a new transaxle hopefully next week. I don't know why that leaves doors open. Um, working on the gate. Look at how nice that gate looks. I have to add, right where you see that black piece? I have to add another 2x4 right across there 
for the gate hardware. But after that, we'll have a gate and my mom will be happy. So yeah guys, this has been an update. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I've been doing a lot of updates lately. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start working on the Scots today and see how far that gets me. And maybe go into Home Depot because I need to get those bolts. Because I bought some yesterday and they just totally fell out of my trailer because the bag got a hole in it. And they fell out of the trailer. So that was 250 waste of hardware. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for subscribing. And yeah. Thanks a lot for watching.